I'm making another video after three weeks. That's so crazy. Alright, so, well, might as well do this. Hey guys, my name is Ryan, and this is episode 6 of completing the WGU computer science degree. So, it's been three weeks since my last video, and, uh, as I want to say, boy, has it been the last couple few weeks. Uh, I've been studying really hard, and being busy at my job, and sort of passing exams, which is good. Uh, passing exams is always really good. And um, in this video, I want to sort of uh, give you guys a glimpse of what uh, sort of a typical weeks sort of looks like as a WGU student. Um, I am still working full time, and I'm also like completing my degree at a pretty sort of fast pace. So um, those are sort of like really two different sort of dynamics that have to like work together and synergize. And I thought I'd sort of like give you guys a glimpse into uh, kind of how I sort of allocate my time. So uh, I'll take you over to my monitor and I'll show you uh, how I sort of manage my time and then uh, how that sort of like helped me uh, go through the program pretty quickly. So, so if you guys go into uh, Google Calendar, um, it's calendar at google.com, uh, this will take you into a, uh, into a sort of template where you can input time. And when I sort of think about my week, I think of things that are absolutely essential that cannot be like breached no matter what. So. Um, the first things first is the number one priority in my life is sleep. So the first thing when I, I do when I sort of look at my week is I schedule uh, the uh, essential time blocks, which uh, which constitute uh, how much uh, how much sleep I'm getting. So uh, I'll think of this as sleep, and this will be a reoccurring sort of task. So uh, I will probably get some sleep around uh, 10 p.m. and wake up probably around 8 or 7 a.m. Um, so this way I get like nine hours of sleep. My, the amount of sleep that I get is about uh, nine each each day. Um, so I'm gonna sort of schedule that in. Let's put that in at nine hours and let's sort of schedule this as a dark color and let's have this repeat daily. So we know that when I'm looking at my blocks of how much time I have available each week, that this is all sort of uh, blocked out. That this is going to be sort of there no matter what, no matter how busy I am, no matter how Sort of lazy I am. Um, I can always get certain that I'll get uh, at least uh, around nine hours of sleep. So after sleep, the second most important thing, ironically enough, is work. So I actually prioritize sleep over work, but uh, work has to come next. So I will have to sort of schedule out um, about eight and a half hours each day uh, for the eight hours of work and the thirty minutes of lunch. So this can't really be breached either. So I will do work. And um, for those of you who are interested in what industry I work in, I work in the healthcare industry, and I do sort of uh, really complicated stuff on the healthcare side of uh, annual enrollment, uh, benefit systems. Um, basically, if you go through an injury and you have to like do some stuff, like that goes through uh, that goes through our company. So um, let me do this on every weekday, 8:30 to 5. Uh, this is get scheduled, and I'll put this as kind of like green. So about maybe one hour each morning, I might like, you know, get ready for work, uh, get dressed, make sure like my bed is made and sort of essential to eat breakfast. At eat breakfast. So I will sort of allocate this as mornings. Um, and my commute time is uh, 15 minutes one way to my job. Um, I scheduled that in such a way so that uh, I, if I were to like live like an hour away from my job, like that would sort of add up like really, really bad because if I lived an hour away, my sort of time that I would have available each morning would kind of look like would kind of look like something like this. You know, I'd have to have like two hours in the morning rather than just one. So the fact that I sort of picked an apartment that is like really nearby where I live has been like super duper an amazing decision that I made. Um, so I had the benefit of only having one hour to uh, get everything ready and get into the office, and then uh, and then this is like scheduled out. So this is like the absolute core essentials of my week, and this really can't be breached. The uh, sort of after work, I will sort of uh, decide what I do. So I usually work out like twice a week on like a good week, and like maybe if I'm like having a really busy week, I only work out like once a week, but uh, this sort of happens immediately after work. And then I guess also maybe there might be uh, like a social event. So these are like my sort of social parts, and like these are my sort of independent parts. Um, on Sundays, I usually like to do like all the sort of cleaning and like grocery shopping and 
uh, and different sort of meal preps. So uh, on a Sunday, I reserve maybe about like five hours. So this essentially represents all of the stuff that needs to get done because this is, uh, I can't sort of like skip doing the dishes or doing the laundry or like, you know, keeping my house clean um, while enrolling in WGU. So I will keep this probably around five hours of like administrative work. So this is like the absolute, uh, this is like the sort of best case scenario in terms of how much time I have to study. So with that said, um, let us sort of block in uh, how much time I sort of study for WGU each week. So if I wanted to sort of put in warnings, uh, I would sort of say that this is like, this is specifically reserved for WGU. Um, maybe it could be like WGU uh, discrete math two, for example. So I will sort of block this out all the way up to uh, around like nine. 9 p.m. and I would label this like a dark blue color so I can sort of be aware of how much time I'm spending. Uh, same thing over here, I will do this like WGU, uh, discrete math too. And then finally I have sort of like the, uh, once I sort of fill out like this sort of core part of like completing my degree which is WGU, I will start like putting in like filler stuff. You know, maybe before going to a social meetup I might like, you know, get my, my clothes ready, or I might like fix my hair or something like that. So uh, I might sort of include this as like prep, maybe after doing like, you know, four hours of WGU studying and like doing a whole bunch of work, I might be like super duper lazy. So maybe I don't really have like the strength to like, you know, do more studying later. So this, I sort of label it as, uh, as orange because this is kind of like stuff that really shouldn't be, you know, too big. Um, if I'm feeling like really, really bad on like, a, on, on like certain days, um, I want to know like how much orange is appearing because this is stuff that is, I'm not being like productive. I'm not like working towards anything. So this is stuff that like I want to keep to like a minimum. And then while I'm sort of like doing these huge blocks of like, uh, huge blocks of like studying discrete math too, or like going through a WGU course, I allow myself to like take certain breaks. This is kind of what a typical week at WGU, WGU uh, looks like. And I have sort of like a proxy calendar on my right of the monitor, and this is almost uh, identical to uh, to what I have on, on my other monitor, except rather than this being like YouTube or, or like this being watching TV, it could be like doing some Twitch TV, or maybe there might be like an unexpected event. Like I had like a, a several wasps in my apartment uh, last weekend, so I might spend like two hours to like deal with wasps or um, or over here, like there was a, on like a Friday, there was something happening at my apartment where there was like an event. So I might do like a sort of like a social event at like the apartment, sort of label that as yellow. So anyways, um, and I sort of like label unusual events that occur like that are like unexpected as like purple. So um, these are things that like usually should not like be appearing usually in the routine. So I, I sort of label that as a purple as like a sort of one time uh, unusual event. And uh, yeah, this is my routine. This is sort of repeats every day. Um, and I am very predictable and very sort of structured uh, in how I sort of allocate my time. And this has benefited me greatly in terms of, uh, in terms of completing the WGU uh, course material. And I thought I just wanted to like, share that um, because this is one of the things that they, uh, that, that when you sort of enroll in WGU, they, they definitely emphasize on like keeping track of like time and keeping track of like how much time do you have allocated for WGU. So if I were to like add up the hours here, I got, you know, eight hours, about seven hours here, about, uh, this is about maybe like eight hours of good studying here. And then sprinkled out through here is about like, I guess another eight hours. So I get like a good sort of 24 hours uh, and maybe on like a good week, maybe like 30 hours if I'm working really hard, to like study at WGU. So this is how much, this is how I know how my progress is going and, um, and keeping up with all the material. So uh, that brings me to the end of my video. Uh, I showed how to sort of, uh, how I sort of uh, make a calendar and how I sort of track my time. And I use that calendar like every single, every single day. And I sort of review it like once every sort of month to sort of see how like I am doing on like my progress. And like maybe, you know, I wanna make sure like I'm eating well, I'm taking care of myself, I'm exercising. And then finally, like the most important thing, uh, completing WGU. Uh, I have like a lot of big plans um, that I want to use with my 
background in computer science and like create a whole bunch of cool projects. So uh, getting that done is like the most important thing um, to me um, in like the long run. So uh, that brings me to the end, and uh, I thank you guys for checking out this video, uh, and I will be very interested to see uh, how the sort of next courses look like because uh, it's all programming from here on now, it's all like working with actual code, uh, C++, Java, Python. I'm so excited. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, so take care.